A campaigner for men's rights, who's been described by some on social media as a woman hater, is standing as an MP in Ashfield. Mike Buchanan says feminists are liars and conspiracy theorists and says the state is sexist against men. He's standing against Gloria Depiero, the shadow minister for women and equalities in Ashfield, and he's here to tell you more. Mike, welcome. What Thank are these so-called lies that feminists come out with? Well, we, we, we have for about 18 months now been presenting uh, prominent feminists with lying feminists of the month awards. And I had the pleasure this morning of being on ITV's This Morning on the, on the sofa with Caroline Criada Perez, who we've presented two awards. N for no, saying? No, for, well, well, the first one was, was t she, she, she lied about the impact of more women on corporate boards. And, more, and by uh, that you mean that this uh, claim that women on corporate boards improve profits? That's, that's, you don't think that's true? Well, it's not that I don't think it is. All the evidence says that that is not so. Well, so, so we challenged her and she has had no response. All the longitudinal studies that we're aware of show that women do not improve corporate financial performance. It's really clear. Well, that's interesting because you'll pick your studies and those that are no, in support no, no, of you will that, pick theirs that no, actually no, suggest profitability no, no. does increase. I'm sorry, Fran, it doesn't. Everything that they present, they present uh, studies which show correlation, and correlation is not causation. It's kind of statistics 101. Uh, and it's why so, nobody in the world challenges our assertion, um, that, which, uh, is, we, we, which is that women do not improve corporate financial performance. And we have been, we have been challenging um, people for three years on this. Okay. And Would you like to keep them out of the boardroom? Of course then? not. That, that's... That, 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 so that's, what's your uh, that, beef? No, sorry, Fran. That is, that is a shaming tactic. The idea that, um, that I would want to keep women out of the boardroom, why would you resort to a shaming tactic? Well, why would you bring up the fact that people are saying that women are an advantage in a boardroom when you're saying they're not? I mean... But they're not. But, but the facts say they're not. In fact, five longitudinal studies that I presented to, the, to inquiries of the House of Commons and House of Lords showed yes. that, show, show international studies, show that when you increase the proportion of women on corporate boards, on average, corporate, for, p corporate financial performance declines. It's really black and white. So, Mike, let, let's talk about your views and your policies without going into longitudinal studies. You believe that in a workplace, men work harder than women. It's not what I think, Fran. It's to do, it goes back to a study or a report in 2000 by Dr. Catherine Hackim. Um, a world-renowned sociologist, and she, she, she published a paper in, in, in 2000 called Preference Theory. And preference, she found in Britain that four out of seven men are work-centred, and work here being paid employment, and only one in seven women is work-centred. Women want balance in their lives. They Why want... does that suggest that in a workplace a man is working harder than a woman? That simply says that given the choice, a woman would like to look after children more than men, perhaps? Well, of course. Well, why does that mean that women don't work as hard? Well, if women want to, work, want, want to spend more time with their children and with their families, as they do, compared to men, that will necessarily have an impact on their advancement in the workplace. You know, choices have consequences, and women have to realise that if they want to spend more time with their kids and family, which, which, which I applaud, there's no reason they shouldn't, but they then cannot expe expect to be 50% of FTSE 100 directors. OK, interesting point. Let's go on to one of your policies, which suggests that when awarding custody to men or women, men should have half the time with the children, yes. women should have the other half of the time. Yes. How does that fit with four out of seven men being work-centred and one out of seven women? It's, well, if you look through that, again, it's, it's one of 20 areas in our manifesto. But, but, but the idea is that's a starting point. But, but, but the these men, if they're centred on their work, no, no, they, you are assuming uh, that, that men want to have primary care no, of children no, for half of the time. No, it's a starting point. And, but the reality is for most um, men and women with children um, that, the, that the, they will come to, or, or could come to an accommodation where the women spends more time and with the children, and there's no problem with that. So, 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 so um, yeah, so, so, so we're perfectly happy with, 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 with that arrangement. I mean, men and women can come to arrangements, but, but, but the point I'd like to make here is that the family court system currently denies fathers access to their children. 95% of, of, of parents who don't get to see their children are fathers, um, and that is emotional abuse of children 
fathers and grandparents. And you'd like to see that, that redressed? I'd like to see the emotional abuse of children, fathers and grandparents re redressed. Yes, I would, Fran. And finally, you don't believe that feminists have a cause. You think that it's outdated and redundant. In fact, we are sexist against men. No, Just I, ten seconds left to uh, make that of, point. of course feminists have a cause, and their cause is female supremacy, and they are driven by misandry, which is the hatred of men. You've chosen Ashfield to stand in. Why is that? Um, because it's, a, it's one of three highly marginal seats, adjacent to highly marginal seats uh, near Nottingham. Um, and it's, as you say, Gloria de Piero, uh, Minister for Women and Equalities. And the, uh, the, 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 the sheer name, you know, Minister for Women and Equalities, is absurd. There is no minister for, 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 for men. So you um, think there's inequality but actually men are the victims of it. Yes, indeed. I mean, our, our, our election manifesto shows 20 areas where men, are dis men and boys are disadvantaged by the state, by, by, the state's inactions, by the state's actions and inactions. And for five years now, I've been asking feminists to, to, to point me to one area where women and girls are disadvantaged by the state. And in five years, not one suggestion has come forward. Perhaps they would believe that there is a, a long-standing institutional prejudice, there's been an unlocking, if you like, of the power that they believe men have held and therefore there, you know, there doesn't need to be a state prejudice in their favour. This is all about redressing the balance. That's what feminists are well, after. But you think that they well, are... Well, if, you know, if we're going in for um, retributive justice, um, then we should be giving, um, I guess, black Americans a white slave each. Let's talk about Nottinghamshire. Let's talk about Ashfield okay. then. Why should the people of Ashfield vote for you? Have you been to Ashfield before? Yeah, of course. And of so course. why should they vote for you? Because we are the only um, political party in the country, and in fact across the English-speaking world, that, uh, that fights for the human rights of men and boys. And in particular, uh, I guess our number of the 20 areas in our manifesto, pro pro probably the biggest is, is, is the denial of fathers access to their children following family breakdowns. Is uh, this something you have experience of? No, not, not personal experience, but, but I know plenty of men who've, who've, uh, who, who've, who've been denied access. And in fact, our candidate in Broxtow, Ray Barry, um, heads up Real Fathers for Justice. And denial of access to children, uh, to fathers, is a major driver of male suicide. And anybody who works in that field has known men kill themselves. But it is, all, it is also um, emotional abuse of children who, who, who don't see, you know, boys and girls who don't get to see their fathers, uh, of grandparents who don't, who don't get to see their beloved grandchildren. And, and that's, why, that's one of the reasons we have so many female supporters. You acknowledge that men are more concerned with working in their They're lives. More, more work driven, yes. Work centered yes. than women. Yes. And on that basis, you say that therefore women don't work as hard. How? No, no, no. I'm saying not That's as many women. Today, no, not as many. Not ago. as many women work hard as men. Four times as four, four out of seven. While they're in the workplace. Yes, I mean four out of seven British men are work-centered, and only one in seven British women. That has to have consequences for. What does work-centered mean, though, when it, it comes to the thing that most gives you pleasure? Is that what the no, question it's to is? Do when with it's, pay, it's to do with paid employment. So, so, so I'm still not clear. You're saying that that women have a desire to be at home more than men. Yes, it's perfectly Women have a desire natural. to look after children more than yes. men. And yet you want men to have custody of children in equal no, proportion no, no, to women. No, um, we went through this before. That, that's a starting point, but I'm saying that, that in the case of most couples, most couples could, could come to an accommodation where the woman, you know, d spends more time with the children. And uh, that is just a natural way. You know, uh, you know women are happier to do that and in fact uh, um, study but after what? study study after study shows that although men and women would 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 both prefer to work less hours in, in paid employment women would far more women would, would would prefer to work a lot few hours because they want to spend time with children and family it, so, there's so no problem here yes so, so in other words when judges are giving women more time with children than men I can't see why you're saying that that isn't a fair assessment then of the lifestyle and the choices of men and women. No. Would men want to be the primary carers of children and go to work and sit in traffic 
and plan the menus at home and take the children to school and so no, on? No, clearly not. But no, our, our, our beef is about um, access to children more than custody. And the reality is that fa family courts um, deny fathers access to children. We, we have supporters who've spent over £100,000 trying to get access to children. Some have succeeded, some have failed. It's a lottery. Um, okay. How many men can afford £100,000 to see their children? It is cruel. Mike, I'm sure we'll talk some more and the voters will make their own minds up. They Thank will. you. Thank you.